welcome back to Mortgage With Me. In today's video, it will be a money savings challenge. And I do have several challenges that I am going to be doing this year. And so I started off last year, it looks like in October, I did my first challenge on the crossword puzzle worth $500. And then I just created this one recently. It's called I Dot of you so it's a play on the word thought and this could be uh, maybe you know you haven't thought of yourself i know a lot of people say they put others first um, before they put themselves first so this is um, one that could be creative for you or maybe you dot about someone else so um, i do have let's see one two three four five six seven eight so 32 dots and each dot will represent $5, bringing me to a total of $160. Now this one is, I created this one as well. It's called, It's My Birthday. And basically all the letters in the title here is here. And so each letter, once I, you know, you can color it in or not, each of the letters are worth $10, bringing it to a total of $130. So there's a total of 13 letters. All right, let me just make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, yeah, so 13 letters. And my birthday's in November, so um, I plan on using this money to do something. What it is, I don't have that figured out just yet. And this one I also created is called Around the Clock Savings Challenges, Savings Challenge, and it's gonna bring me a total, to a total of $78. So basically, um, you know, depending on how much money you can put in, this is more like a low income um, savings challenge. So you can put a dollar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and it's gonna total up to $78. I don't know what this is going to be designated for, but um, this is just a, a savings challenge that I created. It's um, feasible for me and my budget because I don't um, allocate that much money towards the savings challenge. Now this one I also created is called Stacks of Greenbacks and each of these stacks will represent $10. So I do have, looks like 16 stacks here so 16 times 10 so this will be 160 dollars i don't have anything um allocated once i finish this challenge but um i'm sure i'll find something to do with the money that i save from doing this savings challenge now this one is a challenge that i um got off the website www.mt1finance.com and it's by a lady named Shalise here on YouTube. She goes by uh, Mommy Trader on YouTube. She also has a Patreon. And then she uh, recently, I believe last year, created this website, the mt1finance.com. And this is called Beat Inflation Challenge. It says, use this challenge to find extra money and put it to work towards your future. So you can invest, save money to invest, um, money just to save, to pay off debt, or just to give. So that's another one that I'm going to be doing this year. And this one I also created is called a the crossword puzzle. And this one, I haven't, I'm not going to start this yet until I finish the $500 one, but you can see that this one here is worth $1,000. And then I met this goal of $275. This was the multiplication savings challenge that I was using to um, fund a hot air balloon ride. And I do have one other um, challenge, savings challenge called the coin savings challenge. I don't have a, a paper piece of paper um, for that. It's just written in the book. And basically what you do with the coin challenge, you just pick a coin, you look at the year and you add each number in the year and that'll give you your total to put towards the challenge. So because I only have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I have to decide where I want to apply this money. I know that I want to go ahead and do the crossword puzzle um, savings challenge since I've already started this. I want to go ahead and um, continue this one. I have put it on hold to finish the 
uh, multiplication savings challenge. And so what I think, since I only have $20, I'm gonna do 13 across, which is five plus five. So that means that $10, five and 10, will go towards this challenge. And then what I do is I just find 13 across and I write in the word 10. So I have 10 there and I do have just a regular envelope and I already have some money saved. Let's see if I have, I already have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 dollars in here. I'm gonna add $10, the $10, so I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so now I only have $10 left. So now I need to decide what other savings challenge I want to use. Let me go through them once again. Mm, so this is 10. Let's see, these are all 10. And this is a 10. I'm putting each dollar's worth $10 as well. So this is going to add up to $400. And I'm not doing that. And then I'm not going to do the coin challenge this time around. So I think I'm going to do five dollars here so let me go ahead i have some color and i'm just gonna color this in here and then i'll take this five dollars and once again i just have regular envelopes and i'm going to find the envelope for i dot of you so this is going to be the first $5 to go in this envelope. So now I only have one, two, three, four, five. And the only challenge that this $5 can go to would be the around the clock savings challenge. And I think I'm going to split it. So I have two and three. So I'm going to go ahead and color it in. Let me, uh, I can use this one, uh, the number two. And then I'm going to get a different color. And I will color in the number three. I do have an envelope, I like, let me see. Okay, so the round the clock savings challenge here. So I have, already have one, two, three, four, five in there. So I'll put their five and that makes a total of $10. Okay, so that completes the savings challenge. Guys, tell me what you think of the challenges. Um, these are, like I said, more of low income because I don't allocate that much money towards the savings challenge. I know once I really start doing this challenge here for 500, I'll need more than just like 20 or $40 for um, this savings challenge because you can see here I have 30 plus 30, which would be $60, 30 plus 50, which is $80. So, yes. I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave those down below. I thank you for watching as always and have a blessed rest of your day. Bye-bye.